brought a book that was uh, called The History of Magic. It was a Christmas gift to me. A roommate of mine in college, we exchanged Christmas gifts. I think I gave him a print or a drawing. Uh -huh. I was an art student, and he gave me this. Uh, Apparently you've read the book. You've kind of, you've kind of hounded it a little bit. All the edges are worn away. And, yeah, I've, I've, uh, it's not the kind of book you sit down and read cover to cover, but I've looked at it over the years. It's also got wonderful illustrations in it. Yeah, it does. If you go in, you know, there, there are actually uh, pieces like this, which are old illuminated manuscript art, um, engraving, engravings, woodcuts, wood etc. Yeah. Et yeah. The subject matter is, you know, mysterious and interesting. Right. I guess you say it's a compilation, which is true, yeah. and it was under the, uh, the name of Kurt Seligman who put it out. But what interested me, you know, this book, I'm going to cut right to a value here yeah. for you. This book in this condition is worth about $100. However, when, when you had it at the table and you were talking to me, in here I, I opened the flyleaf and I noticed who your college roommate was with Jim Morrison at the door. That's right. So, all right, let's pounce on that. I okay. have all kinds of questions for you because I'm a Jim Morrison fan. Oh, really? I met Jim, Jim Morrison. I was in a, uh, a rooming house, uh -huh. renting a room. You know, that doesn't the Tallahassee part. And this other guy lived there, and we got to be friends. We went to school and so forth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, and he was, he, he, Jim was Jim Morrison. I see that he's inscribed as a Christmas gift, yeah. 1963, yeah. from Jim Morrison. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had been a Florida native, and Jim had bounced out to New Mexico, and he ended up back at Florida State, where you were. And he, he decided to take a few classes. Mm -hmm. He kind of went in in typical Jim Morrison spirit, and... Uh, I guess that he had a few run-ins. He, he was originally in a video that was promoting the college. And then, I remember that. Really? I yeah, remember, and yeah. That, that's just a little part of a film that's promoting Florida State. And really very, uh, it's very dull. Right. So what kind of a student was he? What, I'd hate to hear that he was like a shy meat guy. For his age, I'd say he was probably the most intellectually deep person. He was he was 19 when you met him. 19, probably something like that. He gave you the book on the occult. It's always been assumed that he had an interest in the occult. Yeah, yeah. he, in the band, he often took on the uh, the, the name of the Lizard King. Yeah. All the bands and stuff. Right, right, right. Well, he was, I would say, interested in the idea that uh, maybe. A lot of criminals, really saints. Uh -huh. Saints are criminals. And right. He was so attractive to the public. There's a following after his death. He died young. You know, he has all the components of value. You know, beauty, early death, intelligent, wild. That's Jim Morrison to a T. So this, what a wonderful early, early view into his life and, and you know his relationship with you as a young college kid. The value on this at auction. With the occult level, if it weren't that book, I'd put four to six thousand dollars on it. But because it's that book, because it's early in his life, which generally doesn't help, I would say that the value on it is eight to ten thousand dollars at auction. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. When we're done here, you want to have a beer? <laughs> yeah, we could. Okay. My daughter's here. Well, she's, she, okay, let's she'd do go it. along with it. We'll take you over. I love to hear your stories. That'd be so awesome. Yeah. All right.